Hey guys, what's going on? I am Billy Coles, the owner of Smith Mountain Lake Fishing Guide Service out on Smith Mountain with my first reaction to the new bait from Missile, the Bomba. This is going to be a huge bait uh, for me guiding and I wanted to talk to you guys about a few different things that uh, are important to me as a guide but will also help tournament anglers, people just out having fun fishing themselves and um, just putting more fish in the boat. So. First thing that I always worry about with a bait with guiding is versatility. I want to be able to present a bait multiple different ways so that I'm not having to retie and change baits all the time on guide trips and utilizing as much time um, as possible for them to fish. And so with that, I've got the Bomba rigged up a few different ways that I'll show you in a second, but versatility is huge. This is a compact bait. It's a heavy plastic bait. You're going to be able to rig it a bunch of different ways to present it as a crawdad, as a shad. Missile's got some awesome colors uh, as well that are gonna imitate a few different things. Second thing is durability. Everybody probably doesn't like spending a ton of money on plastics that rip right away, or you get one fish catch out of uh, each plastic, and this is a really durable, durable bait. So I could see this bait lasting three, four, five, six fish before you even have to replace it. It's a dense plastic, which gives it that kind of slow fall rate to it. But if you add some weight to it, it's gonna sink like a rock, which is nice. And the design of it is, is really interesting. They refer to these baits as scat baits, um, poop baits, whatever you wanna call it. But basically it's imitating what a crawdad would look like with no pinchers. And if anyone knows craws and how they kind of defend themselves in the water is they're always pointing their claws up as they swim backwards through the water. So removing the claws and having a bait that looks like this is key in getting more bites on type of a craw um, like feeding pattern. Um, and that's because smallmouths specifically are gonna, are gonna be looking for crawdads like this, injured ones, maybe ones that have one claw, no claws, um, that are gonna be easy meals because they're not gonna get pinched um, when they bite them. So, Bunch of different colors from Missile. I'm going to show you guys um, kind of the ways that we rig them um, and things that I think are going to play for the upcoming guide season. It's a really exciting bait. There's not a ton of these on the market. Missile's probably one of only, I think, three or four companies that have something like this. So it's a, it's a good bait to have and um, it's a good quality build. So let's talk about the baits real quick is how they're rigged. It is October at Smith Mountain, which means we are in full on fall transition and shad chasing, um, shad chasing bass, back of pockets, points, everything like that. So the first way, which I think is gonna be utilized the most from everyone is just a weightless Texas rig. So this is gonna be their shad, um, shad color. Again, this bait is mimicking a small bait fish. The slow kind of float down shimmy side to side is going to look a lot like a dying shad in the backs of uh, backs of those creeks. So there's a ton of bait this size in the back of most of the pockets here on the home lake. So we're going to go bomb this thing around on docks, sticks, maybe the last little stump that's in the back of a pocket and see if we can get some bites kind of mimicking a stun shad or, or maybe something that got knocked around by a school of bass. So super easy to cast this as well on a bait caster. I just have it on a seven foot rod, um, 16 pound line skips like a dream um, and with it being a texas rig you don't have to worry about you know if you're skipping a jig up under docks you got a brush um, or a weed guard you know you're not really running into anything that's going to get this thing caught under those docks so shad color weightless letting it slow sink is is a key to uh, getting some of those shad bites and again this is going to be something that not a lot of people are throwing in the backs of the pockets most dudes are throwing a swim bait or a chatter bait or buzz bait and those do work but this is going to be something different that they'll uh, that they'll see uh, this year next one and this goes to guiding 101 i always have shaky heads on in my boat it's just part of the game it catches fish it doesn't matter what time of year it is it's always going to be a deal so going with more of a crawdad slash bluegill color putting it on a missile baits warlock head beyond basic fishing style so this is gonna add that weight. This is gonna be making that bait be more of a vertical presentation as opposed to a horizontal presentation like the weightless, hopping it around. This would be a technique that I'm gonna do a lot more dragging um, snaps every once in a while. This bait is also very similar on the fall rate to a tube. I'm originally from Minnesota, so if anyone knows what cracking a tube is um, or ripping a tube through grass, that is a good technique to get reaction bites when they're um, not chasing stuff that's going horizontal. So taking a little shaky head like this, 
maybe snapping it up, um, snapping it up around rocks, stumps again in the back um, is gonna be key. So nice little compact bait, nice little compact hook, throwing it on a spinning rod, seven, 10 pound line, something like that can be a good finesse way to get it done. Um, it's basically just a beefier Ned rig, uh, in my opinion, that I think is gonna get some good bites. And lastly, this is more of a unique way to do it, is throwing a free rig. So for anyone who hasn't thrown a free rig or doesn't know what it is, it's basically a cylinder weight that's got a closed, um, a closed loop in it. It's just a little quarter ounce free weight. Um, and this is why they call it a free rig. It is free flowing on this line. There's no bobber stops up the line. And then I've got it on a smaller hook. This is just a Gamagatsu 2 aught. Um, put a little more of a craw pattern on there. The free rig allows for this bait to free fall. So as you lift up, that weight's gonna slam back down to the bottom and pull very fast. So it's a very fast fall rate um, to this bait. This would be good on points, uh, maybe a little bit deeper water into brush piles, something again, presentation wise that they're not gonna see. It's almost kind of acts like a mini Carolina rig, um, which Carolina rig catches them. So that's what I think about the Bamba. It looks like an awesome little bait. I think I'm gonna be using it a lot um, in guiding. And I think there's a lot of fish that haven't seen a bait like this. So pick some up at Missile Baits and uh, have fun catching them.